If you go through and read my comments, a lot of them you're gonna see are saying things like, wow, your face has cleared up so much. Your, your acne is 100% different. Your face is glowing, it's radiating. Your face looks so good and so clear. And those comments are super awesome. Like, I'm so grateful for those. But I don't want those comments to misconstrue the fact that I still deal with acne. It's not something that goes away and stays away. It's something that I still have to deal with. I think sometimes once we get over something, we try to play it down a little bit and try to pretend that it's not something we have to deal with anymore. I started getting acne around 15 years old, 14, 15, when I was in high school and I just started bodybuilding essentially really trying to put on muscle trying to put on weight trying to put on mass so I was eating so many calories and a lot of those calories were sourced from dairy from whey protein really anything that comes from dairy right because I thought you know it was a great way to get protein in it's a great way to throw in calories so I drink like half a gallon to a gallon of milk a day I have just copious amounts of protein from powders and bars and things like that and so that slowly started aggravating my acne from little whiteheads just here and there to tons of whiteheads to tons of whiteheads tons and tons of blackheads and then even developing little nodular cysts. And then over the course of months and months and months and months and months, those nodular cysts became more often. They would become, you know, six, seven, eight of them at a time with blackheads and whiteheads all over my face. I had very, very severe acne. And then around 19 to 20 years old, I decided it was time to do something about it. So I took a very, very long course of Accutane. And a lot of people have not done uh, courses this long. I believe mine was 78 weeks. After I did my 78 week co course of Accutane, I decided I wanted to switch to a vegan diet to see if I could continue keeping the acne away now that I had stopped Accutane. And from there, I switched over to the ethics and stuff, so I st stayed with veganism now for almost a year. And the vegan diet has helped me massively with keeping the acne away. But I do not want to misconstrue it that I still do deal with acne and I still do deal with big cysts like this one up here. I think something that we as naturally as people do is try to downplay things that we've struggled with before in the past and pretend that they don't come up as often as they do in our in our day-to-day -day lives. For example, alcoholics try to pretend that, you know, after they go sober that they don't have as many struggles or they try not to be as open about it that they are struggling still with trying to drink or people who deal with obesity and have gotten over it they try not to feature the you know the side effects that have come or they try not to feature you know messing up or having binges or overeating or things like that or people with acne they get clear and then they try not to ever let anybody know when a new pimple pops up a new cyst pops up they try not to feature their scars things like that show their skin as as in, in a bad light right and try not to make it look like anything but a hundred percent clear for them and I think a lot of times social media people influencers celebrities as people will say it try to make themselves look as best as possible and try as much as possible to feature their flaws as little as they can try not to show them at all and that is not the type of person that I want to be I don't want to try to present my best self I don't want to try to present my perfect self I don't want people to think of me as something that I want them to think of me as or tr as what I'm trying to show them what I want you guys to think of me as is, is me I, I want to show as much of me as is possible and I want to be able to use my flaws and, and the things that I'm struggling with to help other people because I think about it like this a lot of you guys have watched me since basically the beginning of my whole entire acne story. I mean, me literally getting acne and getting worse and worse and worse and then me dealing with it and all that stuff. A lot of you guys have been watching for years and years and years. So I don't know why I would act different or pretend that it, you know, now I don't have acne and, and before it was like this crazy thing back in the day. Like I still deal with acne and I want you guys to see the flaws that I have and, and, and the struggles that I come, that come up in my day to day life. Like for example, this very large cyst that will transpire into a much larger cyst. I think by featuring it, by showing Showing you guys these flaws, being very transparent about this, I can hopefully reach out to some of you and make you feel a little bit more comfortable about your, you know, acne or loose skin or literally any problem that you're dealing with. Because I think about it like this, you know, if you're watching my video right now, you can assume that thousands of people are seeing it. Maybe, you know, tens of thousands of people across the world are seeing this. And a lot of them have a, a reputation that they have, you know, created for me in their heads where, you know, maybe I'm this or that to them. and I'm showing them, I'm showing you guys all the flaws that I have. I'm giving you a close up HD shot of my face so you can see the blackheads, the redheads, the cysts that are popping up. You can see the little marks from when I extracted blackheads a few days ago. And I want you to see that I I'm perfectly happy. I'm perfectly fine and I'm, I'm not getting any harm caused to me 
by being open. You know, of course you can go scroll down in the comments. I'm sure you're going to see some people saying pepperoni face loser. Oh, you're such an ugly, gross butthole. And oh, I'm looking at this HD photo of your face and it's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. But those people don't matter, man. Those people really, really, really don't matter. They really don't. And by showing that kind of um, negativity, they're basically screening themselves out of your life. You can see when people are talking bad about other people like that, you don't want to be around them. So it's actually kind of a great thing to expose those people by being more transparent. But I'm hoping by you guys seeing me be open to thousands and thousands of people, you can be more open in your day-to-day -day life, you know, with your coworkers, you know, your three or four coworkers, or, you know, your five or 10 friends that you're going to go out with that night, or, you know, your family dinner that you're going to go to with 10 to 15 your family members hopefully you can be more open with those people because you're seeing this and maybe it can kind of motivate and inspire you to be more comfortable with your flaws because I want you guys to know that I actually have come to a point where I am very very comfortable with my flaws and I'm actually very appreciative of my flaws to be honest this kind of acne always pops up whenever anything important is about to happen for example we're about to have a guest stay with me for a week coming up. So I'm going to be in a bunch of videos with him. He's vice versa going to be in a lot of videos with me. And therefore, a lot of people who do not know me have never seen me before who watch his channel are going to be exposed to me. But I have this big cyst. And I used to actually get taken down a lot by it. I used to be like, dang, man, I don't want people to see me with a big cyst on my face because it's not who I am. But at the same time, you know what I mean? I actually don't care because if those people judge me for my acne, for the cyst that's gonna pop up, then those people shouldn't be over on my channel. They really shouldn't. And by being open with this cyst and then people who actually see it and are like, wow, that's cool, he's being open, he doesn't even care. I can attract people who need and want to see someone being open and transparent with their face. I mean, also in two to three weeks from now, we'll be going to the FitCon in Texas. By the way, that's this is kind of an announcement if you guys want to know. We will be at FitCon in Texas. Me, JD Beard Gains, LP, Obese to Beast, Chelsea List, we're all going to be there. So if you guys want to be there, I think it's May 19th to the 21st. We will be there to meet you guys. We're going to have a bunch of shirts to give you guys and sell you guys and all sorts of stuff. So it's, I'm really excited about that. It's going to be so much fun. But anyways, I have something like that, something big where a lot of YouTubers are going to be there, lots of videos will be going down. And then a few weeks later, two weeks after that, we have the competition. And these cysts like to pop up slowly and stick around for months and months and months. So I know that this cyst right here is going to get not just this big, but bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to stick around for a very long time, possibly all three of those events. And it used to bring me down a lot, like I was saying. But now, I honestly embrace it and I freaking actually love it because it gives me it gives me something to make me more flawed and I know that's kind of something weird to like be excited about but I want imperfection I don't want to be perfect I don't want people to look at me and be like wow you have a beautiful face a great physique and an amazing personality you I have no problems. You're perfect and you've never had anything wrong with you, I bet. You're just a, such a great person. I would never want somebody to think of me like that. I don't want to be perfect. I want to help people who aren't perfect. I want to help people get better with their self-esteem and feel more comfortable with themselves. So I'm hoping that you guys can be more transparent by seeing me be more transparent. And I swear to you, by doing it, by forcing it, you'll become more comfortable with yourself. You'll be more comfortable with your flaws and your life will become more enjoyable. It may not be easier. There may be more people talking about you if you're obviously showing your flaws more, but you'll see this confidence come into you where you truly don't care about people talking down about you. You truly do not care about their opinions of talking, you know, about how ugly or whatever it is or how embarrassing it is to be you. You'll be like, it's embarrassing to be you because you're the type of person who would be embarrassed to have whatever I have. And I'm proud of it. I can help show other people how to be proud of what they have. I just personally think that being transparent and understanding and loving yourself is truly the best way to go about doing anything that you're doing. So if you have acne, if you have skin problems, if you have, you know, any, any sort of problem that you're struggling through, just try to be more transparent about it. You don't have to be crazy transparent, but just try to be a little bit more open about it. Try not to hide it as much. And if you've been through something, then try not to hide the the, the struggles that come afterwards with it, or the, the small flare-ups of issues, you know, whether it's acne or obesity or whatever, I can't even think of a thousand other things that it could be, but if, if you struggle with something after the fact, then be transparent about it. You don't have to hide it. You know, if you had anger issues in your in your life before and you've gotten over them, but then you still have a little bit of anger kind of come up and some some bouts of anger come up, then you might as well be open about it because it's just gonna make your life and others' lives better and you're gonna help the other people who are struggling through the same thing because you can show them, I don't know, kind of 
how to do it or, or just a different way to approach it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially those of you who are actively struggling with something or who are in my position where you've kind of gotten over something that you were struggling with for years, but still have little bits of it come up here and there. I hope this can kind of inspire you to be a little bit more transparent, hopefully cause you to be a little bit more happy with yourself and just more content with who you are. And hopefully that can also help reach out to other people and make them feel the same way. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Share it with your friends who you think this video could be good for. And other than that, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT.